welcome back to another episode from Sanders Wildlife. Today's video is from an attempted rescue of a vulture with a broken wing. Unfortunately, after much effort, we did not end up rescuing the vulture. This video shows a wild chase through a subdivision of woods in an attempt to catch this injured vulture. I did technically catch the vulture, but made small mistakes that led to the vulture escaping my hold. This video is a little choppy, but hopefully you can stick with it. We were called out by two concerned citizens that lived inside of a subdivision. They reported seeing an injured vulture for the last few weeks outside of their homes. We looked for the vulture in a few backyards and tree lines with no success. After leaving, we were called again with the current location of the vulture, which both citizens waited patiently for our arrival, as not to let the bird slip away again. Upon pulling up, we noticed the vulture in the neighbor's front yard. Without much time to plan an attack or route, the chase began. At first, things seemed to be going okay. The vulture was in an easy area to run him down on foot. While planning the attack, the bird took to the hills, or in this case, the closest tree line. And now he had me. I was now on his turf, and he clearly had the advantage. After crawling into his territory, the vulture was nowhere in sight. He had his pass cut out through the heavy brush and fences. Unfortunately, I did not fit as gracefully as he did to these areas. Once I located the bird, I began to chase the vulture through the branches, limbs, and sinkholes in an attempt to catch up with him. This vulture may be injured, but was still lightning fast. No matter how fast I could sprint, the bird was always one step ahead of me. A few times I gave chase and busted my tailbone hard. As seen here, I was taken down by a plastic bag as I was right on the heels of the bird. At this point, the bird was moving closer to the interstate, so I could not give up just yet. I gave chase for over 45 minutes going deeper into the woods while even busting my butt a few more times along the way. I really thought I had him that time too. Slowly he began to slip out of my sight. Eventually after some long sprinting, I was able to catch up to the bird. I grabbed a short breath and took off. This vulture knew how to break some ankles. He about juked me into the woods and took an immediate slant the opposite direction we were going. The vulture took a turn into the ivy so I quickly took my chance and was successful. I took my gloves off 20 minutes prior and had little protection, which was a bad move. While attempting to secure the aggressive bird, he slipped my grip. Quickly in all the commotion, I ended up losing sight of the vulture and had in my head he had made it through the fence in front of me. After looking over the area, I noticed the vulture still on the other side of the fence. It 
It was at this time I knew the chase was over and I had missed my last chance I was going to get that day. If you ask anyone in the wildlife industry, an injured vulture can be one of the hardest birds to catch. Hopefully since this bird gave up so much of a fight, it will be able to live some form of life on the ground. We will attempt to grab this vulture again if he is spotted back in the surrounding area. For now we wish the best to the vulture and respectfully admit the vulture won that round. If you like this video and want to see more, go check out our collection of fact and rescue videos. Thanks for watching. For now, I'm Brandon Sanders with Sanders Wildlife.